Greetings my healers, this is Nick Kentel and welcome back to Pokemon Academy Life Forever. It's Thursday morning and here we are with Professor Oak. Good morning students, who's ready to continue our survey with into the history of champions? Wait. Mr. von Schwarztrachen? By the way, Schwarz means black in German. Don't say that, it sounds ridiculous. I want, to I want to know about Red Rose's Pikachu. You obviously know more about it than any of us, possibly except him. Oh? Well, er, I don't think that's entirely relevant to the course I'm teaching right now. It's relevant to battle, and relevant to our chances in the Pokemon League. Our first day here, you, you said only a third of us would qualify. That number will be even lower if we don't know what our opponents can do. You're a teacher. Teach us. Er, uh, well, I... You could have just asked me, Hilbert. Your charm increased to 13. You would... tell us? And we get some points with him. Great. I didn't expect that. Thank you. You're welcome, Hilbert. You quickly explain to the class what you know about lightning, with Professor Oak chiming in to provide details occasionally. Humph. <laughs> Of course the freak of course the freak would have a freaky Pokemon. You think he controls his Pokemon too? Probably another special privilege. Felonious prick. You're really just going to come out and tell everybody, huh? I've learned my lesson. No more secrets. Damn, you're cool. Thanks, Leaf. Ah well, it seems that we may have sl gotten slightly distracted. No matter. We'll pick this up during our next lesson. Don't forget to prepare for your test, too. Okay, the morning announcements are still going on, and I need to get my... How about I get my dark proficiency up, huh? Yeah, let's go to dark class. You chose dark? Yes, go to dark class. Hey, Ethan. Red, good to see ya. Let's get this done. General studies... Good morning, students. The dark type is one that excels in dirty tricks, in fighting underhandedly, and sometimes that's the only way to correct injustice. Let's talk about this. Class proceeds without incident. Before you know it, class is over. Classmates' bonds increased. Your dark proficiency increased to 22. Your dark type Pokemon can, your dark type Pokemon can now reach level 22. As everyone prepares to leave, the intercom system in the classroom crackles to life. Hello, this is a reminder that all access to the forest is prohibited to students, not engaged in official duties. Expulsion is a likely punishment for rule breaking. This message will be repeated. Yes, thank you, Dean Drayden. So, Life Orb on a Pokémon with sheer force gives you all the benefits of the item, with none of the downsides. Do keep that in mind. It's a useful combo that's easy- that's very easy to pull off. Now, it's time for the battles, Bruno? Okay, Grosha uses Ice-type, so I need to prepare accordingly. Hold on. Okay, I made some pre pre some preparations with my Pokémon, and now we're all set. So, Grosha speaks Spanish, and I, I, I speak it as well, so I'm going to translate what he says. Hey, que bueno verte. Hey, how good to see you. Same to you, I assume. Grusha, are you well enough to battle today? As far as I can tell. Hmm. Red, your opponents will be Grusha. Great. You're probably sick and tired of people talking about your speech, your Pikachu, or your power. I'm sick of people asking if I'm okay and pretending to care that I didn't get to be some student council whatever. Yeah, let's skip all that. Everyone's tired of having uh, all, all that shit about themselves, yeah. Finalmente. Finally. <sighs> I saw what you did to Don. Yeah? What you did was cold. Made a mockery of her. All her training, all her power in front of the entire school. Hey, I... Chill. I liked it. And it's not like you had a choice anyway. Heh. <laughs> You should see what people on the internet are saying about you and her, though. They're calling her Altaria, Al Altaria Jawbird. That doesn't seem very nice. Hey, look, no, no mouth expression. People say that the internet's anonymity, 
anonymity gives people the freedom to be dicks without repercussions, but I've seen people be dicks to each other face to face, so I don't know, maybe people are just trash. Yes! Grusha is saying the truth. Grusha is saying the exact truth. People are trash both on the internet and in real life. That's exactly true. Thank you, Grusha. Is depressing me part of your battle strategy? Heh. <laughs> no, but I might keep that in my back pocket for the future. Your scarf! Are you... Gets hard to breathe with it on. Harder to yell commands too. Don't worry about it. All right, let's go. One request, don't make this exciting. Okay. Yeah, I didn't bother saving because I know how the week six goes. I mean, for the battle. All right, try, um... Try bite on Snum. Um, Electro Ball on Swablu. And... Let's see, Air Cutter on the both of them. Okay, Snum is done. Thank you, Howlite. Yeah, yeah, everyone gain experience points. And Delibird is next. Super- Oh, oh, thank you, Titan Titanium. You're great. Alright. Grush has three Pokemon left. Let's see what'll happen. The reason I didn't- I didn't put, um, Savage over in, in this battle is because she's weak to Ice-type moves. Let's see what's next. Try Bite on Delibird. Electro Ball. Actually use Dragon Rage. Dragon Rage on- Arken, and you use Metal Claw on Kedotl. Okay, Delibird is down, two Pokemon left. Oh, that's so close. Okay, okay, it's super effective, yeah, I know. Yeah, Powder Snow doesn't do that much. Use Quick Attack on Kedotl. Um, Electro Ball on Arken, maybe, and let's see who's the fastest, Air Cutter. Okay. Okay, yeah, thank you, Howlite. You took down Kedotl. Okay, Lightning, you're faster than Titanium, so I saw you took down Arken. Good job, boys, good job. Alright, and Lightning's liberation limit increased by one. Good job. Hmm. That was alright. You're a good battler. Oh, thank you, Grusha. You're not too shabby yourself. Uh, Jasmine told me that you, uh, stood up for me, or at least told Jasmine you didn't think I had mind powers. Yeah, well, I was obviously wrong about that. Whatever, the point is you're not evil. I got that part right at least. Thanks. I do what I can. He's kinda hard to talk to, huh? Yeah, he's icy cold. He's a cold person in general. I mean, he is a pessimist, and he, he specializes in ice types. Getting kind of chilly in here. I'm outsies. Ha! Huh. Hasta luego. That means see you later. That'll be all for today. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you, Alder. You too. It's lunchtime. But, of course, we're going to be interrupted as usual. Hey, ya. Uh, hi, Leaf. Hey, what's up? The sky, last time I checked, very funny. It does tend to stay up. I think it's got a bunch of balloons keeping it up there. Balloons? Are you crazy? You can't hold up an entire sky with balloons. Besides, they go into space and pop. Oh yeah? What is it then? The sky's obviously balanced on the, on the top of Blue's ego, a solid, invisible, unbreakable force that's the size of the entire world. Probably a good thing that he never seems to get discouraged then. We might all be crushed. Yep, he's a hero. Man, you're crazy. You know you tolerate me, and he tolerates Blue as well. Can't think of why I'd be in the same dorm as you if I didn't think- if I didn't. Hmm. What? You know, I actually don't know why we're in the same dorm. Oh yeah, be, uh, this is spoil a bit of a spoiler alert. You'll find out why at the end of uh, uh, on on Saturday. You'll find out why. I assume because Faulkner thought it would be funny to put a all of us together. Maybe. Anyway, what's up? Well, I'm thinking of switching classes. Really? Oh, hi, Jigglypuff. 
Yeah, I think I can do it. Maybe not permanently, and I don't think I want to do the crazy thing you and Ethan are doing, but I'm seriously considering it. Okay, which classes? I'm thinking of ditching Dragon for normal. I already told Blue about my plan, and he said, quote, Thank God, maybe now Instructor Claire won't have to stop the lesson every five seconds to yell at you. Which is totally inaccurate and, un and unfair, by the way. She yells at everyone. Yeah, she even yells at Blue. She yelled at Blue twice, during week five and during the phone call be between him and Red. Instructor Claire is really strict, isn't she? Just like her cousin Lance. Well, not him, I guess. Well, if you want to swap, that's up to you. Okay, Leaf, you liar. She Instructor Claire does yell at Blue. I guess you want to pay a bit more attention to your new Jigglypuff? Pretty much. She's a pretty easy train, all things considered, but I don't know a whole lot about her species. Hopefully Instructor Lenora can teach me more about her. Any particular reason you didn't go to Fairy? That w that's one of Jigglypuff's types too. Just have more experience with normal type Pokemon. Hmm. Drampa, Helioptile. Yeah, I can see it. Wait. What about... what about your Dratini? I do not like... like... I... excuse me. I do not like that look. Me neither, Red. Okay, now please don't be mad, but... Oh my god, you're letting Blue train it! Yes. Leaf! Look, it wasn't my idea. Dratini wanted it. Ever since Blue borrowed Dratini last Wednesday, he's been trying to sneak into Blue's bag. Okay, so, in this Let's Play, um, Dratini has been female, but in this new save file, this new save file that, that, I, ha that I had to do, uh, this Dr his, her Dratini is male. Another, another sex swap. Honestly, I was kind of offended at first, but, I mean, just one afternoon with Blue made him way stronger, so I can kind of understand where he's coming from. So that's that's why Blue is taking Dragon class despite not having Dragon types. Anyway, he's still my Dratini, and always will be, while we're all still breathing. Man, does that mean the next time I fight Blue I'm going to have to fight your Dratini too? You have Ice types and a Fairy type, you'll have no problem with that Dratini. Maybe. Bah. Well, thanks for the heads up at least. Awkward silence here. What's that sound? Did I just hear something fly over the school? Yeah, I thought I heard something's wings, like, flapping. It sounds like it's coming from the garden. Are we checking it out? I mean, obviously. Okay, let's go to the garden. You emerge out into the garden and blink up at the sky. Your eyes are still... Your eyes are still adjusting to the light, so it's hard to make it out, but... Excuse me. You emerge out into the garden and blink up at the sky. Your eyes are still adjusting to the light, so it's hard to make out, but... Whoa, a guy fell off. Gah! Hey, guess who? Kneeling above you is a strange man dressed in a familiar outfit. He lets out a soft breath and licks his lips as he looks you over. That's kind of creepy. I scratch that. That's pretty creepy. Really creepy. Something about his hungry gaze sends chills down your spine. Well, well, well. Look who I just dropped in on. The Kabukan Pikachu wielder, slayer of the job bird. And there's his fly gun up there. The job bird? Wait, you're... You're from the internet! <laughs> That's not far off, actually. Want me to get off? That's a very tricky question to answer, given my current position. Oh, Red is blushing! Look at that! Wow! Sharp, too. Guess your victory wasn't a fluke. Uh, 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 um, Raihan? Big fan. I follow your Roto Photo account. What are you doing here, kneeling on my roommate? Not much besides that. Oh, this is a good one. First steps in Kobukan, first friends met, go to memorize this one. Smile for the selfie, you two! Friends? Raihan pulls out a stylish-looking smartphone and flips it around, grinning at it. That's his Rotom phone. Honestly, smile for the camera, make Raihan happy. Ugh! So many camera clicks. 
and we got some points with him. Nice, why not even post this one? Feels more important than a photographer like me could do justice to. Hey, Leaf, you called this guy Raihan. How, how, how do you know him? You don't... Oh no, of course you don't. This is Raihan. He's the strongest gym leader of the Gala region. He's fought Leon more than anyone else. He's strong enough to be a champion in any, of, in any other region. Plus, he's got this really popular Roto photo account where he posts pictures and videos of himself in battles, and during meals, and... Uh... Pool parties. His fans are called the Fan Gang. Hey, you are a fan! But why are you here in Kobukan? Hey, I'm a bit busy right now, don't really have time to answer all these questions. Influencer shit, you know how it is. Always gotta chase that clout around the corner. You know where I can talk to the guy in charge of this place? Oh, that would be me, young man. Oh, hey. May I ask what you're doing? May I ask what you think you're doing flying into my school in the middle of the day? No appointment, no forewarning, no introduction? In my defense, I was just asking who was in charge. We, not, we wanted to talk with you. And who are you to ask this of me, Drayden, in the middle of a workday? Drayden, huh? I guess you aren't a fan then. Heh, <laughs> my name's Raihan, 8th gym leader of Galar, strongest member of the Galarian League aside from Leon, you know? The name is familiar. So, Raihan, 8th gym leader of Galar, and strongest member of the Galarian League aside from Leon, may I ask you of the courtesy of an explanation as to what you are doing here? Got a bunch of reasons. Heard Sonya finally stuck her head up out of the dunes, and I'd like to reconnect with my old circle. Raihan looks pointedly in your direction. Besides, I need to talk to this guy. You did see what his Pikachu did, right? That might be just the kind of thing that gets me over Leon. And you thought that doing this now, in the middle of a school day, would be the best way to achieve these goals? Our school was very recently attacked, and a student is still missing. Perhaps you can understand why I would be a bit twitchy, Raihan? I see those wrinkles, Dr. Drayden. Hey, I'm sorry, mate. I didn't know that. Lance, it appears your skill is not needed here. You may take your leave. Wait, Lance? That's you? I am he. Bloody hell! You're Lance! I knew I'd never- I knew I'd seen you before! You're my hero, mate! Never meet your heroes, as they say. There must be some sort of mistake. Just like your, your cousin Claire would say. No mistake, Lance. You've got the world record for the most league challenge attempts, nah? Well, I'm coming for your record. My failures are nothing to emulate. Nah, nah, it's not like that. You kept getting back up, over and over, and then you won twice! You're my idol! I even get my gym trainers to dress like you! Oh, that must be pretty embarrassing. About that. I wear the honorable dress of a, dra of a draconic knight of the Blackthorn Dragon Clan. To see the patterns and emblems of my ancient ancestors emblazoned on this sportswear is no trifling insult. Lance, I think you may be missing the point of the boy's sentiment. Look how disappointed Raihan looks, poor guy. If he sees anything within me worthy of emulation, then it is he who misses the point. I take my leave. What an asshole. Well, that went to pot. Apologies for Rance's irascibility. However, his temper does not remove the fact that you ought not to be here. Flying over the gates as you did is absolutely not permitted. I can fly back over, then walk through the front if you want, but it sounds like a bit of a bother. I would request that you fly back over and stay over. If you wish to talk to certain students, you can make plans to meet up with them in Inspira, off-campus grounds. Ah, come on, mate, don't be like that. Tell you what, I've got a bit of a following. I'll put it in a I'll put in a good word for you if you let me hang around for a bit, eh? This is a historic centuries-old school. Our programs are world famous, and more of our alumni are champions than Blueberry and Naranjuva Academies put together. May I ask who you could possibly put in a good word for us for that is not already aware of our accomplishments? 
Give me a moment. Yes. Isn't Chairman Rose a board member here? Well, yes. I suppose my reputation with the board could do with some aggr aggrandizement in light of its recent events. There we go, mate. No, we could do something for each other. However, this agreement is conditional. Oh, yeah, go on. Chairman Rose has been hinting that he is considering launching an inquiry into how the school has been run. I would have you attend classes, join clubs. I would ask that you treat this experience as though you were just another student. And then I would ask that you report back to the esteemed Chairman Rose, honestly, about what you have experienced. Seriously, I can be in and out. It's no problem. Come on, I'm the great Raihan. I don't need to go to school. Correct me if I'm wrong, but did you not attempt to win the last Galarian Champions Cup with a team that utilized four different types of weather? Mate, I was trying something different. Lose to Leon 12 times and anyone will start thinking outside the box. 12 times, oh my god. That's a lot. I understand that Galarians do not typically undertake formal education in Pokemon training, but I must insist it would benefit you. There's no doubt you are a powerful trainer, but even the child champion of Unova attends her middle school during the day. She's, I mean, he's talking about Iris. A thorough education exercise, soft skills that you may have no other opportunity to, de to develop. Such as humility, great Raihan. All right, all right, I get it. You don't need to go on. Look, I was planning on making this a get-in, get-out kind of thing. I'm not going to need to pay, uh, to, to pay a full year's tuition, am I? You will only need to pay tuition for as long as you are here. Great. How much is that per day? Finance has been a, bit t a little bit tight since I bought that new muscle car. It was a risky purchase, but the click-throughs on that post were so worth it. Your first tuition payment will be due on the, f on the 4th of October. I may suggest you not buy any new cars until that time, but with a gym leader's salary, I see no reason you should struggle to pay. Of course, perhaps I am getting too f ahead of myself. You still need to pass the entrance exam after all. Hold on, I didn't know there was any kind of entrance exam? Well, of course there is. We wouldn't want to- We wouldn't admit a student to this academy without proof positive they will not waste our instructor's time. Mate, I'm the 8th gym leader of- We get it, Raihan, we get it. Yes, yes, I know, 8th gym leader of Galar, you did mention. In any case, this should be a very simple exam to pass for someone of your pedigree. Just defeat Mr. Rose here. What? What again? You serious, mate? As the grave, Mr. Raihan. But this guy's just a kid, you know? He's 18, so he's technically not a kid. I do not expect that you are any more than a couple years older than him, no? You know what I'm saying. Don't dismiss me. Huh? Mate, it's not that. I totally respect where you are. It's just... Uh... More points with Raihan. Ah, you got me on the defensive. Nice blow, mate. Hey, Rose. I saw you battle with Burlitz, and it was some serious shit you pulled off. Impressive, but the raw numbers aren't there. Drayden, I'm not a bully. I'm not going to go all out against a student. One might point out that this student had has had more battle education than you, but I concede your point. This was a test anyway. Ah, so you wanted me to turn on the battle? Sneaky. Did I pass? Oh no, you are still going to battle Mr. Rose, but perhaps now in the middle of lunch is not the proper time for that. You have until class's cessation to prepare a team that you think will allow you to face Mr. Rose on an equal footing. I may suggest heading to the fields. I've been told that Cyclizer population there is strong and plentiful. Cyclizer, huh? Okay, that's only four hours, but I think I can manage this. Then, after you finish your evening classes, will you join us in the battle hall, Mr. Rose? I will gladly re referee your battle myself. Sure, can't miss the opportunity to battle an actual gym leader after all. One more thing, Mr. Raihan. It is true that Red is a much less experienced battler than you, but... Do not do him the discourtesy of bringing a team that cannot pull their own weight. Wouldn't dream of it, mates. The great Raihan always goes 110%, no matter what. He literally just said that he wasn't going to fight me with his real team. 
Excellent. Now, I imagine Lance should be back any moment now. Huh? I thought he, he just buggered off because he didn't fancy my outfit. Yes, well, Lance is never one to make clear his intentions. And here, come here comes Lance and the girls. Rai? Hey, Ness? It's good to see you again. Rai, why didn't you tell us you were coming? Ness only just told me that you were here, Sonny. I came as soon as I heard, of course. Besides, I was hoping to surprise you. Well, consider me properly surprised, you cad. Well, what are you doing? Excuse me. Well, consider me proper surprised, you cad. What are you doing here? Didn't you know? I'm a student. Well, I will be after I defeat Rose here. You want to fight Red using your gym leader team? Using your gym leader team? Nah, I'm going to go out and catch some others. Pardon me. What is this? You need to defeat Mr. Rose in order to become a student? Yeah, it's kind of a pain, but whatever. I wanted to battle this guy anyway. Lance's eyes drill into ears as he stares, unblinking. I see that. I see your face, you bastard, and look at this upside down you for a mouth. Come to think of it, this is the first time since Friday we've been face to face, isn't it? Yeah. Man, I can't imagine. I can't begin to imagine how furious he is. Utterly ridiculous. Oh, Advisor Lance, thanks for, um, getting us. Just let him go, Sonya. Think he's gone, Sonny. It's really great to see you two again. What have you been up to? And Sonny, where the bloody hell did you get off to? Oh, well, that's a bit of a tricky question, honestly, but, er, uh, the short of it, I was still here. You cut me when you left, you know. Thought I'd done something wrong. Thought we all had... Oh, Rai, you definitely did something wrong, but it didn't have anything to do with Sunny this time. Man, you're just hating because I'm prettier than you. Ha! <laughs> Roasted. I think you'll find that's the only reason I tolerate you. Ha! Huh, but no, really, what's up? You called me out here for a reason, right? Oh, wait, shall we do this in private? Nah, Red's already in this. I called you out because I thought we needed your help rescuing a missing student. Huh? She's lost in the woods, has been for a few days. There's a bigger story, but the lost long of it is that the forest is full of grass types, and I'm basically dead waiting there. I know you love to brag about how well hard you are. Thought you might be able to put that stone head of yours to use and help us. Hmm. Yeah, I saw the woods when I was flying over. Didn't look like there was anything too challenging in there, but I see why you'd have trouble, Ness. Nessa's dual proficiencies of rock and water leave her very vulnerable to grass types. Alright, so when do we start this thing? Tonight. Assuming you, can, assuming you can even beat Red, of course, he's not only the wielder of the Liberation Form Pikachu, he's also a member of the Kobukan battle team. On God? Wait, on God, that doesn't make sense to me. Well, I guess I'm looking forward to our battle even more now, Rose. Don't leave me hungry. The great Raihan's got quite an appetite. Matched only by his ego. Come on, let's show, let's show you around the place for a bit before you become an official student. And maybe you could tell me how you're paying for it? Yeah, that's a good point, Sonia. That's a lot of reading. You return to the cafeteria room, somewhat bewildered by the sudden arrival of this strange new character. <sighs> That's better. Let's see. Professor Cherry is teaching the fighting type, no thanks. Let's take a look at my traits. Um, how about my ice type? I'm going to the scheming table. You chose the scheming table? Yes, go to the scheming table. And study with Hilbert. Ugh, I have better things to be doing with my time. Let's make this quick. Study ice types. Hilbert reluctantly helps you study, though you suspect he likes the opportunity to show off. Your ice proficiency increased to 21.25. Your, your ice type Pokemon can now reach level 21. 
take a look at the traits of- Oh yeah, I have an ex advancement exam in ice class, so let's go to ice class. Excuse me. There we go. You chose ice? Yes, go to ice class. Hey, Ethan. Red, good to see ya. Let's get this done. General studies. Mrs. Melanie? Yes, my popsicle? You've been looking at that picture for a while now, staring at it pretty intently. Oh yes, just reliving some memories. One of your kids? Yes, that's right. A lovely young man named Gordy. He was so handsome. I tried to convince him to come to Kobukan, you know. I said he would take I said he he could take classes with me. But he would rather head in, head out on his journey alone. Trainer schools aren't common in Galar, so it's not unusual for boys his age, but... Oh, I miss him so. He was the first one of my children to leave home, and after he blazed the trail, my other children started to filter out one by one. All boys leave home someday, it said so on TV. That's what Red's mom said in the Kanto games. But do they have to leave home so soon? Surely he could have stayed with me until he was 35. He'd still be young enough to go out and find a wife then, and she could move in with him until he was 45. My god, you're a clingy mother, aren't you? This is a serious case of empty nest syndrome. Instructor Melanie, Instructor Melanie needs a therapist, seriously. Oh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't be taking up your time with my tears. Let's just... freeze these in place. Boop! There we go. All happy. No sadness. If I let you take the advancement exam of this class, will you not tell any of the other teachers about this? If you pass the exam, I'll let you hack off some Never Melt Ice from the Cold Locker. It boosts your ice type attacks by 10%. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, my delicious gelato! You're growing up so fast. Which Pokemon are you going to use, though? Mama Melanie's going to use an Ice-type this time. I'm going to use an Ice-type, too. Frost. You're up. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Just like a mother, instead of a teacher. Okay, she, she has, a uh, level 21 Lapras. And Hail won't do anything to him. So, you start with Nasty Plot. Maybe you should try Nasty Plot again. Get your a special attack up again. There we go. And use Draining Kiss. Get some of your health back. Ooh, look at that. Use Dazzling Gleam. Ooh. Wow! Frost, you're amazing! That Nasty Plot helps. Way to go. Good girl. <laughs> well done. Popsicle, here's a never melt ice since I couldn't freeze my tears. Aw, oh, Mrs. Melanie, don't cry. Instructor Melanie hands you a lump of sheer ice that burns to the touch. You quickly, you quickly stash it in your bag. Okay, my bag is right here. Battle items, and here's the never melt ice. Let's give it to Frost. There you go, girl. And we can leave the, the class now. Go back to homeroom. So the Emperor created the position of champion such that, if his political power ever wanted, and evil men ever attempted to grasp at power, the inherent goodness of Pokémon would always come to Kanto's defense. Are we seriously meant to believe that Pokémon are pure good? That seems naive. Well, in all of our recorded history, we've no solid proof of a Pokémon willingly performing a cruel act without coercion. coercion. That's not to say that Pokémon are harmless, of course. Everyone knows you should never walk out into the tall grass without a Pokémon. Yes, of course. But even though Pokémon have been known to rampage, sometimes with disastrous results, a Pokémon under complete control of its mental faculties never attacks without reason. And we have our upcoming quiz. But perhaps that's a level of pen penetry that we need not get into right now. If a wild Pokémon attacks you, rely on your own Pokémon to defend yourself, not their inherent goodness, but do keep it in mind. Now, let's see. Ah, yes, it's about time for our test, isn't it? Yes, it is. This test won't introduce any new concepts. All I ask is that you defeat your opponent. 
The opponent Gardevoir only knows Psychic, the opponent Meganium only knows Giga Drain, and the opponent Dugtrio only knows Stumping Tantrum. Finally, in this test you will be able to gain experience, that may be relevant. Take out your pencils and remember, this is graded. Honestly, this is the easiest test so far, aside from the Cherubi one. Okay, you ha- you need to get- th these Pokémon only, only know one move. So, get rid of this Dugtrio first, use Crunch. Okay, Dugtrio fainted, Skaroopy gained experience points, leveled up to 41, and she- she wants to learn Scary Face, honestly. Um, let's see. Yeah, maybe forget Acupressure. What? Ah, uh, she's evolving, look at that. I could press skip, but I want to show the whole evolution process. Just for the hell of it. Besides Lightning, you haven't seen a Pokémon evolve in this game yet. Well, maybe you have uh, outside of this video. Maybe you have on your own time. There we go. Look at that, she's all big and strong. Skaroopy evolved into Dr a Drapion. Great. Yeah, she's immune to Psychic-type moves. Oh, Meganium. Meganium regained some health. You need to use Cross Poison on Meganium next. High critical hit ratio. There you go, got rid of Meganium. Alright. Psychic has no effect, so you get rid of- Next, lastly, you get rid of Gardevoir. This male Gardevoir, by the way, I like the diversity of this. I mean, the- the- you know, what I mean. Um, the progression. Use X's turn Gardevoir and he's down. Drapion is the winner. Awesome. Hmm. Mid-battle evolution, huh? In most regions, trainers are required to stop their Pokémon from evolving mid-battle. At least in official matches, but I guess Kobukan is fine with it. Yeah, and you know how the regular anime is. Evolutions in the middle of battles. Blech. At a glance? Well, at a glance, actually, it looks like a lot of you are struggling. I thought the concepts were, I thought the concepts were simple enough, but perhaps... Hmm. Yeah, he's no longer acknowledging only Red's quiz. Though he's up at the front of the classroom, you can tell Professor Oak looks concerned. Well, that seems to be the bell. Perhaps I should... Perhaps... Professor Oak seems troubled. You consider going after him, but... Hey, going to battle Raihan? Raihan? The 8th gym leader of Galar? Strongest member of the Galarian League aside from Leon? Yep, that's him. Apparently, he showed up in the garden at lunch today, jumped off a fly gun, landed on me actually. Getting real sick of random powerful people and things falling out of the sky into your lap. Yeah, he was kneeling on my dick. It still hurts. Ah, look at that leaf is shocked, but Blue was smiling the whole time. No one needs to know that. You liar, Blue! You were smiling after you hear heard about Red's dick! I, I, I admit it, you, you secretly like hearing about Red's dick, don't you? So, are... Uh, where? Huh? Where are you battling? The battle hall? Yeah, in a couple minutes. What do you think that was about? Oh, he's pro he probably just wants to watch you battle. Anything to get more information on you, you know? Sometimes, I think he wouldn't mind being the second weakest trainer in the, in the world as long as you were the weakest. Man, you're right. Alright, I'm going to the dorm to get changed, then go to the battle hall. Wanna come with? Sorry, I'm going to meet up with Tia. She's gotten better since her stay in the infirmary, but she's still a bit slow. I'm helping her catch up on her lessons. Hey, that was nice of you, but shouldn't you be worried about your own academics most? I mean, you skipped class to grab me, then you took Monday off to look for her. Not to mention you're going to start taking normal classes. Aren't you worried you'll fall behind? Nah, not really. Yeah, she even tolerates- She even tolerates the instructor surges yelling all the time. She's a tough girl. A tough woman, actually. She's 18. Talk to you later! She seems very cavalier about missing school, huh? Okay, school is over for today and we're in the battle hall. But I've been recording long enough. I'm going to stop right here, so thank you my healers for joining me on this adventure. Feel free to give this video a like, and I'll see you in the next one. And don't get on my bitter side.